Hello and welcome back to another video. So today is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be working on my midterm painting assignment for class. Uh, this assignment is basically a still life that represents us. Um, and this assignment is a still life in place of a self portrait. So the items or objects that we choose to include in the still life should have some kind of meaning to us. Maybe something from our childhood, something from our family depicting still life scenes um, of like family homes, that kind of thing. It can be kind of anything as long as it fulfills the self-portrait, self-reflective part of the assignment. So for my assignment, I decided to paint my first watercolor palette, which is actually the one, the massive thing that I have here. <laughs> this is a Masterson palette. It's not one of the Stay Wet ones. It's one of the original Weld watercolor ones. I've had this since like 2013, since I was 13 years old when I started watercolor. I don't use it as much as I wish I did, um, but for this assignment, I'm actually painting the palette, but I'm painting with this palette as well. I'm also gonna be painting a little bit. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to use it uh, because I don't really like it anymore, but um, some of my very first brushes, particularly this one. Um, this is a Artist Loft, Artist Loft Necessities Acrylic Pen round brush. It's not even for watercolor. This is part of a set that I had purchased from Michaels many years ago when I first started. I got it around the same time that I got this palette. So this brush has been around a long time and it has actually held up really well. It's a synthetic. It doesn't hold a lot of water, but that's what I learned with. So I'm gonna try to use it as much as I can as well as my small collection of brushes that I have here as well. I'm also going to be masking some areas with my Winsor Newton masking fluid, the colorless um, one that I bought and my little, I can't remember the exact name of these off the top of my head, it's slipping my mind, but I'll link it down below because it's amazing. It is basically a little pen that works as kind of like a calligraphy pen does with the gap and gravity using inks, or in this case, masking fluid. This thing is a lifesaver. I'm gonna do, it's gonna be included in a couple of videos later on, but so I'm gonna be using that. I'm also gonna be using my little like rubber eraser thing. I can't remember the name of this either, um, but it's used for picking up masking fluid or rubber cement or um, without damaging the paper. Very handy, very cheap little thing, highly recommend. So yeah, I'm gonna start with masking and we're gonna get on with it. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is look at my lovely little reference of what I have and I'm going to start coloring in some of these small areas.
to take off this masking fluid. So I'm gonna grab my little rubber thing here and I'm gonna start at the top. So I think the last thing I want to do maybe is line it with a little bit more pencil. So I have my 2H pencil here and I think I'm just going to go over some of these lines and just crisp them up. I thought about using a black fine liner pen, which I do have, but I don't know if I will like the harshness of it for this particular project. I kind of like the more sketchy, looseness of my graphite. I don't know if I want to do the whole thing. I just want to clean up some of these lines. And I'll give them a little bit more definition. Some of them got lost with some of the masking fluid. So I'm just going to redefine. See how that just brings some more of it out. I'm liking that a lot better. 